All right, we're talking to our favorite uh, financial guy, Aaron at Fagan Associates, and you know we're really trying to get the capital region going again, the economy and jobs. What are you seeing out there, Aaron? You know, it's interesting. You know, we, we, we uh, there's an article in uh, it was the Times Union, the capital region's brand is getting a makeover, and it's really interesting. It's called Cap and Y, and it's just kind of trying to get millennials and Gen Z in particular. Um, I guess interested in the capital region, um, excited, uh, trying to make it an, 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 an exciting place to live. You know, there's a lot of you know RPIs here, Sages here, um, SUNY Albany's here. There's a lot of great colleges here um, uh, that that can um, that that have a lot of innovative um, programs in it too. And I think that that's what this is uh, kind of trying to do. You know, I saw that they were mentioning like uh, the Hudson Valley has you know an image for them, and and the Berkshires has their image in the capital region region is just kind of hanging there so we got to rebrand the thing a little bit yeah and you know especially as in the capital region there's a lot of nice tiny cities you know that are bigger than towns you know hudson hudson's more of a i guess um has more town it's more of a towny feel um you know but the capital region has uh, troy schenectady um saratoga um, even downtown, downtown Albany, you know, so there's a lot of beautiful little neighborhoods within each little city that I think they're trying to get people excited about, especially with, a, you know, a lot of younger people moving out of Boston and New York City during COVID, you know, trying to get them to maybe not go back and, and you know, make a life here. Now, you're also seeing a, a bunch of job fairs starting to pop up, right? Yeah, you know, there's, ton, there's there's tons of job fairs that are popping up now, which is great. But you know, they were they just took a a study of about 200 CEOs in the upstate New York area, and they're actually having a hard time getting a lot of these jobs filled because um you know with just the stimulus checks, you know, it's it, it's some people really don't want to go back to work yet. So you know, there's there's tons of jobs coming in, and um you know, we just need to fill them. All right. Well, uh, you know, that, that's all good news for the capital region. It means the economy is starting to crank up a little bit now that people are getting vaccinated. We're up to what I saw about 25%. Uh, of New Yorkers are all fully vaccinated now. So hoping for a good summer. Yeah, yeah. It's a nice weekend, some nice weather last weekend. So, yeah, I think we're all just, everyone's just excited to get back out and um, yeah, experience some normalcy. Well, it's good to get your insight on, uh, you know, what the capital region is, is trying to do here, trying to get more people in here to fill the jobs that are starting to, to open up. And, you know, that's all, all good news. So appreciate uh, yeah, your, I think so. your insight on that. Aaron, uh, you know, if people have uh, financial questions, whether it's personal finances or the economy in general, how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, you can visit our website. It's uh, faganasset.com. Um, we have a, a contact page on there, so you can uh, type in any questions that you'd um, like to ask. Or you can call us at 518-279-1044. Excellent. Well, appreciate your thoughts today and uh, all the best, and we'll talk to you next week. Great. Thanks a lot, Randy. Thank you.